I'm Larry Walther and this is PrinciplesofAccounting.com Chapter 5. In this module you'll begin to understand an alternative inventory system, the perpetual inventory system. In many respects it's a better inventory system. Uh, under a perpetual system, real-time inventory records are managed as each purchase occurs, inventory accounts are updated, and as each sale occurs, inventory accounts are updated. Contrast this to the periodic system we've seen in previous module. Under that system we utilized a purchases account uh, we recorded purchases as purchases occurred into the purchases account. We did not update inventory until the end of the accounting period via the closing process. Now, uh, with a periodic system to determine what inventory was on hand at any point in time, it was necessary to take a physical count of goods. Uh, that's not necessary with a perpetual inventory system. Let's look at the characteristics of a periodic system once again. We only record inventory purchases to a purchases account. The inventory records are only updated during the closing process. It provides no real-time data about inventory levels or gross profit. Managers need to know what goods are selling, what is not selling, and are able to optimize their business processes. A periodic system is very deficient in providing that information. Successful merchants now use sophisticated computer systems, barcode scanners, and so forth, even RFID, radio frequency identification devices, that enable computers to constantly update inventory records as inventory movement occurs. Uh, that's part and parcel of a robust perpetual inventory system. Uh, the perpetual system, uh, as each purchase occurs or each sale occurs, there's an immediate update of the inventory and cost of sales data. So let's see what happens in terms of journal entries with the purchase of inventory. We debit inventory and we credit accounts payable as we buy goods. Nothing new there except we're debiting inventory rather than purchases. And as the sale occurs, we're going to record a reduction of the inventory. So now I'm recording a $5,000 sale, goods that cost $3,000. I'm actually debiting cost of goods sold and reducing inventory at the very moment of the sale. These entries occur concurrently. This is the perpetual nature of keeping the accounts up to date. So a second entry is needed here. If this were a periodic system, we would have only recorded the sale and sorted out the uh, actual ending inventory, in inventory information later. With a perpetual system, a uh, purchases account is not needed. Inventory account and cost of goods sold accounts are constantly adjusted as transactions occur. If there's freight cost, freight in is added to the inventory account. If there are discounts, those reduce the inventory account directly. Cost of goods sold is determined by reference to the general ledger now since it's constantly being updated as goods are sold. The perpetual system has some disadvantages. It's not always easier. It's difficult to determine the cost of each item of inventory as it's sold. Uh, there can be differences between the computer record and physical quantities on hand due to things such as theft, waste, spoilage, errors, and the like. Uh, so merchants still need to undertake a physical count of goods at the end of each accounting period to determine what inventory is really on, on hand and adjust uh, perpetual inventory records to match that. 